Nigerians think Mercedes-Benz is the best car money can buy. Are they right or wrong? It doesn't even matter. But there's one particular Mercedes-Benz that every young Nigerian wants to buy. See this car? It's called the C-Class. This is a C300. W204 Mercedes-Benz C300. And this car automatically makes you a big boy or big girl in Nigeria, which is why everybody wants it. My name is Crank and this is 234 Drive. Today, I would be telling you the reasons why every young Nigerian is chasing the 2007-2014 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. I'll also tell you the problems you face and the cost of owning this car in Nigeria. Let us get into it. The number one reason why Emeka, Shade, Lara, Ahmed, Abdul and every other person wants this car is because of its intimidating look. I mean, you can see it for yourself. It has lines that run from the beginning. This line actually continues to the back. See the wheel arc, the curves, the way it stands. This car is now small. It's a compact um, entry-level luxury sedan. So once you come out of it, it feels like you have like a toy. Like it gives you that feeling of dominance. Like you are dominating a mad car. Do you get so? This car makes you feel good about yourself. Anywhere it goes, everybody goes as they look on because it's very intimidating and that is why everybody wants this car. The second reason is that the interior is upscale and it smells sweet. Once you open the interior, the first thing you notice is how well planned out, how well thought out this interior is. Like, they plan this interior from start to finish. The car has a look on the inside. Everything is just in the right place. Wooden trim. The material is upscale, like it cannot spoil. You get to interior is very, very much. So once you enter, you can never forget an experience in the C300. Try it. If you're a guy or a girl, carry a baby in your car or carry your male friend. They will never forget you. They would never forget the start in the C300 for the first time in their lives because... Because there's something about the interior that just makes you remember it. The seat has a smell. Imagine a car that has a smell. Like every C300 has that smell. Every Mercedes Benz actually, but it's very profound on C300. I think C300 made it known that mm, this is what Benz have been doing. They have a smell in their car. So yeah, once people enter this car, they never forget it. Especially when they sit down in the front seat, not the back seat. I'll tell you why. So once you enter, as a driver, you, you feel the steering is in your face. Steering is in your face. It's like, the car is telling you, let's drive, let's drive, let's drive, let's drive. And you have your infotainment here. This infotainment has everything you need. Has Bluetooth connectivity. You can connect your phone. You can pick up calls. You can do stuff. It is not Android, you can't watch um, stuff from your phone, no. it's just audio connection. Connect with any phone via Bluetooth. Then inside here, there's um, the aux connection. If you want to connect the aux cord, you do it from here. I don't know, it doesn't make sense for me to open this place and connect something, but I don't know why Mercedes Benz did that. Yeah, you have where you can keep stuff. It's not so big, it's not so big, it's just small. You can't keep anybody here. Cup holders to hold your stuff in place. Ah, look at the transmission. The transmission stick doesn't really befit this car. It looks older than the car but then remember the word luxury luxury means something that is rare something that you can't see everywhere so that's why I just kept it like this we didn't finish everywhere if you want to control anything ac climate control is down here from down like this you control everything ac from up here you control everything infotainment and to access this screen here you have to use this toggle switch you can go anywhere you can go like it's like a toggle switch you have to use it like a joystick you have to use it to control infotainment from here but then the back seat suffers everybody in the front of a mercedes-benz c300 enjoys but people at the back ha they suffer let me show you but it's not that bad it's not like it's not as bad as that of the is there is no space in the back of a lexus is second generation but then i can't even sit in the middle shower. i can't even dare sit in the middle because i'll just be like this all true because of this home so i have to do like this and once i do like this i'm affecting every other person so the best way to park people in this car is two in front, two at the back. Once you just press this, long press this button, the boot pops off. Yeah, you can keep stuff in your boots. There's space to keep stuff in the boots. Very practical too. Point number three is that this car drives like a true Mercedes. How does a true Mercedes car drive? A true Mercedes car has enough power to push, combined with handling. 
So once you enter corners at high speed, the car will not throw you off the road like all these regular brands we drive. That once you're on high speed, the car will become light, the car will go. A true Mercedes car is going to get more stability, and this car does that. Now I turn the full wheel to the right. Look at the stance. It's looking like the car is tilting. Just imagine now you want to fall down and somebody is pushing you to the right. You now put your other leg and just stand like this just to get balance. So this car is very balanced, a well thought out ride, balanced ride. So this car uses a V6 engine that has reasonable amount of power, about 220 horsepower. And um, it is mated to a six speed transmission that is quick. The C300 has a spirited drive, like once you are driving it, you feel what you're doing from there. So everything in place on this car makes you enjoy the car. And young people like to enjoy when they drive. They like to speed and stop. They like to be in control. But don't forget that apart from the C300, there's a more powerful one that is the C350. That one is faster. If you want more speed, go for the C350. If you want to speed like a Lamborghini, then you should buy the C63 AMG. The fourth reason why young people love this car is because the C300 is very, very easy to upgrade. Young people love cars they can upgrade. What's upgrade? Upgrade is that thing you do when you take your car of 2005, you make it look like a 2012 model. You upgrade it or you facelift it. Even though I'm not a big fan of upgrades because it just seems like stress. You are trying to make your 2005 car look like 2010 car, but it's fine. I support it, but I won't do it on every type of car. But on the C300, it's very easy to do, and I like some I have seen. If it's going to be worth it, please do it. Let me show you some upgrades you can do on this car. So you look at this car, for example. This car did not come with this grill. The owner bought it and put it on it. You can change the full bumper. Like, can just make this car look like the newer facelift model. This is a 2010 model and you can make it look like a 2012 like you can change the bonus people just change anything they like on the c300 it's very very easy to upgrade and that's why people love it so much the fifth reason is that this car has a very high resale value very high the thing with this car is when you buy it in nigeria you can easily resell it if you buy a c300 today i won't sell it tomorrow your friend can buy it from you a stranger that just overheard you talking about the c300 to buy it from you this car does even last in car dealers hands because People always want to see 300 because there are a lot of young people. Nigeria's population is filled with young people, maybe about 60%. Young people are grinding and hustling every day to do what? To buy the C300. So tell me how we don't have a high resale value. So yeah, don't be scared. Once you buy a C300, you can sell it anytime you want. No matter how rough it is, on the low, even if it is rough, you will see somebody that will buy it at that price and fix it back up. But I'm not saying you should make your car rough, but I'm just telling you that if you just buy the car and you don't maintain it well, somebody will still buy it from you because people like the C300. No matter the condition, the love is too strong. Yeah, so those are like the five reasons why young people like this car and why I think you should buy this car. Now, I want to tell you the not so good things about buying the Mercedes-Benz C300 in Nigeria. Number one is that it brings too much attention. There's no way you drive this car and you tell people that you don't have money. You cannot even say, there's no way. This car brings attention. Police will be stopping you every time because they will think you are the one that will settle their weekend for them. So this car has that thing, like once they see it, they just feel you're rich. They don't know it's not that expensive. I'll tell you the price. Huh? Number two is that the parts are expensive. Ah, all these market people, they know that people that have this car have bar, they don't have money. So the parts are up there. To replace parts on this car is quite, it's quite pricey. It's not even about the fact that it's a Benz, but because the car is very much in demand. So the parts are expensive, you need to know that the parts are expensive. But if you buy this car, I'm hoping you will maintain it properly and you'll be able to work on the parts by yourself. Number four is that the interior plastic, the thing is to peel. This one's already peeling now, see? Let me peel it for me, but yeah, it's like, it, the paint peels off and it makes the car look messy. And when, you, when you try to spray it, they never get it like this, so most people just leave it like this. So when you buy this car, nothing you can do, this thing will peel. Especially if you always roll your glass up and down. In Nigeria, you always roll the glass down now because you need to set to get man. You need to ask for directions, you need to do a lot of things, so... The um, buttons will peel, and I don't like that, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, but yeah. It's a small issue, it's a small issue. The fifth issue with this car is that the car is very close to the ground. You see, it's very, very close to the ground. So when you enter all those rough roads, um, the car will be hitting the floor and you won't like that. In case you are looking for where to open the boots when you buy this car, it's not here, like all those other cars. It's here. You just press it. It opens by itself. How much does it cost to maintain this car? How much does it cost to maintain this car and own this car in Nigeria? So now, um, this car costs between between 4 million and 7 million to own in Nigeria for Tokumbo. And if you want to buy the used one, you have to have a minimum of about 2.7 to 2.5 million to buy a used one. But when buying the used one, 
It has to look out for many things. So just carry a mechanic there. There will be problems. The mechanic will tell you how much it will cost you to fix the problem. So you know how much you're going to buy the car. So that you keep change. I need to fix the car when the problems come. Most times, issues are electrical. It has to do with sensors and all that stuff. Um, my final verdict would be that this car, I would buy it. I would buy it. I love how it makes me feel. It has a feeling. It makes you feel young. It makes you feel alive. The car has a vibe to it. This car has a vibe. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it has a vibe. It has a vibe. So, with this car, you stand out. People will know you. People will notice you. There's no, you cannot hide. It's not even standing out. You cast. You cast. People will know you. The car is going to cast you. Everybody will know your name. Everybody will know the color of your car. Everybody will know that you don't come in because the car looks mad. But then, let's think about it. It's the Mercedes Benz and it is affordable. That price is affordable and it's very much available and it drives well. So, why not just buy it and make sure? You don't go to rough roads. So yeah, that's it. The C300 is a good buy in Nigeria because a lot of people have it. Then mechanics already hacked the problems. They know how to fix the C300 properly. That's the edge you have over buying other Mercedes cars. If you buy this one, everybody can fix it because it's already in the market. Yeah. So I like that. I like that. My name is Crank and this is 234 Drive. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you want to buy this car, let me know. If you have it, let me know the issues you have been facing so we can talk about those ones in the comments or prospective buyers to know and notes. This is 234 Drive, like I said. Uh, see you next time.